Tim Wilhelm, and uh, we're actually mother shipped out here today on paddle boards. He's designed racks that'll fit on a skiff, and it's pretty cool. It'll hold uh, one rack, will hold two paddle boards, or he has a single rack also. So it allows you to get to the spots as no motor zone areas in the Everglades and different spots that uh, you normally couldn't paddle to. So tell a little bit about your product. It's made of a quarter inch aluminum. We wanted to build it uh, to, for the guys that want to take their boats offshore to the Bahamas, their paddle boards off to the Bahamas, and especially, like Peter said, you know, to the no motor zones, Mosquito Lagoon and Everglades. Um, it rotates, it basically slides right down into your uh, fishing rod holders on your gunnels. Um, we have them in 15 degree and 30 degree rod holders. Um, and then you pull a uh, stainless steel pin to swivel it around so it stays parallel with your gunnel. It's a simple, simple product, wanted to keep it simple and didn't want anything permanent. So if you decide not to take your paddle boards, you don't have to leave it on your boat. You just tuck it away. And they're small enough to go into any storage bin in your boat. Cool. I like it so far. I mean, we've put it in, we've ran a little bit with them. Board state secure. Uh, so far, so good. All we got to do is try to find some redfish. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> well, I'm trying. Put us there. So, what made you think of this? I mean, putting a, a, a paddleboard rack for a, for a skiff or a boat. Well, I started out um, taking my son wakeboarding. Yeah. Uh, behind the fishing boat. Um, and when he was done, put his paddle, his wakeboard in the bo boat, and there's no way to secure it. And so I decided to start looking to see if there was something on the internet. Didn't find anything. So I first, my first patent was for a paddleboard, or excuse me, for a wakeboard rack. Wakeboard, yeah. And mm -hmm. and water skis, and um, started talking to people, and and people are like, "Well, do you have anything for paddleboards?" So started looking into it, and realized that uh, instead of just one mount i needed two mounts to handle the length of the paddle board so we just took that concept i got a patent continuation on that and went to there and just same with the kayaks we're now you know same concept as far as the base goes we're just changing the tops All right so it's basically necessity to get your boards out of the way <laughs> so you can use your boat walk around it there you, you know, go yeah and secure I it I did notice we got two boards on one side, and it still left a very, very secure area to walk around. It didn't, you know, you didn't have them laying inside the uh, boat itself. So right. That and really when you help. spend the kind of money on paddle boards, you know, you don't, you want to take care of them. Yeah. You know, you don't want to scratch them up. You, you know, don't want anybody to get hurt when they're walking around. Or, you know, when you're in rough seas. You know, so it, we took uh, about four years to develop it. So well, it works. Yep. Thanks. Okay. But it's a cool product. At the end of this video, I will have a link where you can uh, link into and find out more about it. And they're cool paddleboard racks. They're heavy duty. They're definitely going to hold that, uh, that paddleboard in place. And uh, definitely worth taking a look at if you're looking to mothership your boards either to the no motor zones or taking them over to the Bahamas. This is the way to go. And we're, we are coming out with the uh, one for kayaks. And it's all made here in America. There you go. Well, guys. It's Peter Hink for Palm Beach Bee Productions, and always thank you for watching.